Ciao, I'm Enzo. I'm Celia. This is a Piazza Talk, a channel about our life in Lucca. And in the Tuscan Hills. Please hit the subscribe button. Grazie. Ciao a tutti. In this episode, I'm going to cook a cinghiale in umido, stewed wild boar. It is a traditional uh, Tuscan dish and we got to serve it on uh, polenta, but we can, over, can also serve it with uh, potatoes or the vegetables or even uh, mop it up with bread. So that's a traditional way to eat it. It is an old dish and uh, it is uh, often served in uh, old uh, trattorias. It has got a rather intense uh, uh, flavor and it's really tasty and uh, I would say satisfying dish. <laughs> Wild boar hunting is a traditional practice that going, goes back to millennia, I mean, uh, from medieval times, Roman times, even uh, before. And this has been a source of uh, meat for uh, generations. Nowadays, the number of wild boars in Italy has dramatically increased, and uh, this is no longer sustainable. They've been found in uh, uh, towns and uh, cities, uh, even in, in Rome. Their number must be reduced in order to keep a sustainable territory and uh, preserve it, uh, preserve the beauty of our land, um, because they have a devastating impact on uh, agriculture and, and uh, everything. We are fencing uh, the land in front of our house uh, because uh, they, they plough the soil and we want to keep the, the land in order beautiful for us and for our guests. I must also say that uh, because we have uh, hundreds of miles of uh, forest, woodland from the vast, these animals, they got uh, a natural life. And uh, uh, in some ways, it's, uh, strange enough, it's, I find it ecological and they have a good life. Let's get on with our dish and I hope you enjoy it. We've been given by a friend uh, a good amount of uh, wild boar and uh, that's, what it is. <laughs> so still I need to clean it and prepare it. So we got to use some, but we got to freeze it because I don't think we can eat uh, so much meat in uh, one day. So, so I'm going to uh, clean it, uh, bag it and uh, put it in the freezer. So you cut it into pieces because uh, uh, cinghiali, you really need to cook it slowly and uh, in a stew, don't you? Yes, the best way to do it. Uh, we also um, mince it, uh, making a kind of uh, ragu mince meat. Our friend left it in the water overnight to try to move the gamey taste. And now this is the wild boar that I cut a couple of days ago. And uh, we are going to do the marinade. So first of all, I prepare in this bowl, carrots, an onion, uh, bay leaves, uh, rosemary, and I'm also going to add now celery. So let's put the wild boar here. Spread a little bit like this. Now I'm going to add some cinnamon. A few, a few cloves. Salt, then red wine vinegar, it, there's not a specific quantity, I just put a bit like a coffee cup here. Yeah. 
and red wine. Tuscan red wine. We need something acid. Put a plate on top. And it's going to stay in the fridge for uh, 18, 24 hours. And now we make a soffitto, onions, carrots and celery. And now we have the soffitto, or as they call in Tuscan, I mean soffrittino. Carrots, celery, and onions. It's been uh, marinated for uh, 18 hours now. I'm going to extract it from the marinade. There's a beautiful smell of uh, wine. It means that the wine and the vinegar, they work very well. And now let's start the uh, cooking. Olive oil. Cover the bottom of the pan. I put more olive oil than normal, maybe three tablespoons, because uh, one bowl meat is pretty lean, there's no fat, so I can either use uh, pancetta or lard that I don't want to use in this case, or I put a bit more extra olive oil. Okay, and now let's start. I'm warming up the oil and now I'm going to add the soffitto. And now the next thing, adding the white bowl. Now we want to hear the meat. I just stay on the uh, high heat. And now I'm going to add uh, a full glass of uh, red Tuscan wine. One, two, three. And we now wait until the alcohol evaporates. Still on high heat. In the meantime, I'm going to add some juniper berries. One, two, three. And now we got the secret ingredient. In this part of the world, they often put the cocoa powder in the white bowl recipes there, especially in this uh, stufato. So I added that teaspoon of uh, cocoa powder and now I'll add some uh, tomato I got uh, crushed tomatoes you can have a fresh one if you have a fresh one or mm, bottled one and now I turn the heat off this side I turn the heat on this other side here. I'm going to put a diffuser. I'm going to put a diffuser on the stove. Getting the pot here. 
season, even though I adjust the silk to at the very end, but start seasoning it. Stir it. Spoon like that, wooden spoon. And now simmering for hours, at least three hours. And I'm also going to check uh, every half an hour if it's doing all right, otherwise uh, I'm terrified I'm going to burn the bottom of the pan. So, by the way, it's a very low heat, simmering, and that's the plan for the next uh, few hours. And what's the point of the spoon? The spoon because uh, a bit of steam escapes, but at the same time uh, you don't lose the heat. Oh, you've got the bread proving? Yes. I've been adding all this and uh, I also added uh, half a glass of water and it's been cooking for uh, two hours now so we want to go on for at least another hour the meat is getting uh, softer now but I need uh, I think it needs to cook for another hour at least I should say that um, we're actually making this uh, for friends this evening yes and we've decided not to add extra fat um, for health reasons but you could, if you wanted to make it a heavier dish, add some pancetta or something. Okay, I think that uh, is getting softer now, a little bit, but needs at least an hour, I would say even more. And because we're in Italy, and in Italy, every table has to have bread on it. Yes. So this is the bread this evening. Yes, Proofy. so we got the very fresh bread tonight. <laughs> So um, this is practically a kilometer zero meal from our hill. It's Cinghiali and there's um, polenta from Gaffaniana. Otto file formenton, otto file, eight lines formenton is called. So it's an ancient polenta and it has a completely different taste to the modern quick polenta. So. It's a taste of of autumn and winter. It's wonderful. So um, this is winter in Tuscany. And it's very delicious. Where we were away in England, our garden was vandalised. Look. This is what the wild boar do. We've practically fenced this garden. Uh, this land but there are moments when they just find their way in and it's because the population on the hill has got completely out of tilt. As a country woman and uh, living in the country with people who understand this land I've learned that numbers have to be controlled. January is the time to uh, prune the wisteria and we have a huge very old mysteria along all the edge of our parking area and it has these pods and um, I uh, never had pods on my wisteria in the UK and many people are very confused by these pods they're very very beautiful and sometimes we put them in the stove when they pop um, but does anybody know? Uh, do they have? Do you have pods on your wisterias? Another thing to say is that if you don't remove the pods now, when they get dry, they crack, virtually explode, open, and they spit the seeds everywhere. Yes, they do. Well, I guess that's their job. Yeah. So uh, I've never grown one from seed, I've grown one from uh, uh, roots that it's given off, but uh, never from seed. And um, indeed friends have taken bits of root and grown them, but um, I don't know, it's a, perhaps it's because it's a warmer climate and perhaps 
they pods in warmer climates? I don't know. Mm. So, any should... knowledge would mm. be gratefully received. Now I should add another thing. Uh, do you see a difference between uh, now and last week in weather? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it, it's much colder um, this week. It's a, actually, I've got too many clothes on. It's now warming up. When the sun comes up and it's got a lot of warmth in it, uh, I'm going to have to strip off in a minute. But um, it's beautifully sunny. But there's no snow. No. On any of the mountains, so. No, we had a bit of snow last month, but they they melted and uh, it's fine. No, uh, uh, yeah, December. Early yes, December, yes, we had it? a bit of snow. Yes, we yeah. had pictures. Mm. Anyway, it's beautiful and green, and uh, it's got to be warmer during the day. It is. Mm. Okay, buon lavoro. I'm yeah, going to okay. start my work as well. <laughs> See you for lunch. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, leave a like and activate the notification bell. You just need a Google account and it's free. It helps our community enormously. Thank you very much.